In this video, we're pitting the first two sets of Yu-Gi-Oh against each other. First edition Metal Raiders versus first edition LOB. The Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon and Metal Raiders are the first two core Yu-Gi-Oh sets to ever release in the TCG. Both debuting in the year 2002, they included some of the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh cards to ever be printed. To this day, Konami is still printing support for original archetypes from these sets, such as Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and Gate Guardian. Hey Konami, when are we getting the new Exodia support? I know we got a few things, but I'd really like to reenact the first episode of the anime at Locals. While both of these sets have awesome cards and are very popular to this day, there is still a question begging to be answered. Which of these two is better? Legend of Blue Eyes is often quoted as the best set for collecting simply due to containing some of the top anime cards of all time. But Metal Raiders has a strong argument. Containing collectible and anime focused cards in every rarity, Petite Moth, Baby Dragon, Harpy Lady at Common, Magician of Faith, Sangan, Witch of Black Forest at Rare, Gate Guardian Pieces, Harpy Lady Sisters, and Karibo at Super, nearly every Ultra, and both Secrets in the Thousand Dragon and Gate Guardian at Secret. This may be the most collectible set ever. Today we find out for ourselves which is better. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. We have Metal Raiders, my favorite set versus the original, my probably my second favorite set, Legend of Blue Eyes. So as I said, we have first edition packs to be open today, but we're not just going to do a two pack opening obviously we have a couple of booster boxes of the brand new 25th anniversary prints i'm pretty excited about this metal raiders and legend of blue eyes how many pequeno moss will we pull i mean that might be the difference between these two packs but even if we don't get something crazy i would love to pull pequeno moth first dead and maybe get a 10 i already have two of them so uh, a third one would be pretty awesome for the playset but before we get into it we do have a giveaway i'll be giving away this pharaoh servant 25th anniversary booster box all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below which will win blue eyes my dragon or metal raiders all right we have the representatives back there the first dead pack so we're gonna start off with one metal raiders pack I figure you guys have seen a lot of legacy openings but i know you guys will still enjoy this one because this is the original three i mean the original two i should say it's just good stuff you know it's always fun to open metal raiders and lob it doesn't matter how many times we do it are we starting off hot Ooh, we have a heavy storm super rare okay that's pretty hot i'm not gonna lie a common in the ocg metal raiders if you guys missed that ocg video go check it out there were some pretty interesting uh facts about metal raiders in there and i hope you guys enjoyed a lot of you guys seem to like that video we have kumu soko basic insect we have follow in dark world thorns yami tyon turtle tigre we have goblin seeker remedy and a drooling lazar not bad not bad but no moth yet will we pull a moth in this box a lot of times you can open these boxes and just not get a moth it's one of the rarest cards out there yami uh king of yami Bakai. we have thunder dragon paralyzing potion giga tech wolf the pale beast rux at 34 oh gucci we have the uh, Battle Guard, which is Apprentice, and uh, Leogon, the Lion. Huge monster with a lion's mane, similar to the King of Beasts. Interesting, similar to the King of Beasts. I don't know if I've ever actually read that uh, flavor text before. That's interesting. Furious Seeking, we have Dragon's Treasure, Hinotama, Dark World Thorns, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Hitatsume Giant, Root Water, Flame Ghost, and a Spiked Seedra. I am really excited to open up these first set packs, by the way. The, uh... So the Metal Raiders is unweighed. It came out of a blister pack. And the Blue Eyes pack is one of the middle weights that we weighed out from our 20 pack purchase. So uh, last time it didn't have a foil, but there's still a chance at that weight to have a foil. Armored Zombie. So it's basically unweighed, even though it's weighed. Launcher Spider. We have Ancient Lizard Warrior, Robin Goblin, and a Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, Numero Uno. I considered using a heavy pack and i was like that would be kind of unfair for metal raiders so i'm just going to use one of these middle ones and see what we can get and also we're looking for that pequeno moth inside we're looking for you know some good commons out of lob there's some good ones lady de Fe, also like harpy uh harpy lady is a good one out of metal raiders it's like 300 dollars. soggy the dark clown very nice jirai gumo we got a ooh a Ruxa special right into the kazijin so metal raiders has got two supers already definitely starting off a lot hotter than lob is lob is saving it for the end it seems like let's see if they're gonna pull like a blue eyes white dragon to make up for it we have a uh, beaver warrior hinotama basic insect blue eyes was actually really hard for us to pull both in the live stream and in our video so it seems like, you know, it might be harder to pull. And by harder to pull, I mean, don't take that as fact because it's definitely not. <laughs> it's almost definitely the same ratio. Uh, a lot of times people just assume, because if you watch my video and like the hardest card to pull, they assume it's harder to pull. It's not usually. Larva Moth, it's just like a ratio. There's a Harpy Lady. We want to get that in the first dead pack. 
Domo, we have Mass Sorcerer, and the Skull Knight. All right, the Knight of the Skull. Man, I wish we had more of these first dead pack. If we could open just like a ton of them, it'd be really fun. But you know, at this point, it's getting really hard. So fortunately, we do have the brand new 25th anniversary, which basically, you know, compared to these first dead packs, costs like nothing to open, which is really fun. And it's a great option if you cannot afford, or if you can't afford and don't want to have to afford these first dead packs, like, a, like me, I wish, you know. I don't want to have to afford them. It's too expensive. Um, you can open these up and you can save yourself a ton of money. Are we going to get anything? Man Eater Bug, first super for LOB. Yeah, like uh, instead of, uh, I guess these two packs together are probably going to be like, you know, 1200 bucks or something like that in this video. So by the way, hit that like button if you're enjoying the uh, the video because $1,200 opening. What does that mean again? Niwatori, we have Hayasube. And that's not even the box. Like the whole boxes of these two cost like what? 120, 150 bucks, something like that. Probably like 75 on average uh, per, per box. So yeah, it's a lot more expensive to open two of these packs and it's open two 25th anniversary booster boxes. All right, so it is cool. That's what I do like that they do these reprints a lot. I really don't have like, I know there is could be like some issue that like maybe you're oh, reprinting it too much because as I as of my video where I showed you guys all the reprints of LB, go watch that if you didn't see it. There's nine reprints, nine or nine total prints, not reprints, prints but still a lot of reprints, but compared to places like Pokemon and stuff where, I mean, they get like evolutions, which is kind of a reprint in 2016. That's like, that's like it though. You have to buy like first ed, unlimited base set and stuff like that. And it costs like thousands of dollars to be able to do it. And we can just buy these boxes at a very cheap price and enjoy like the nostalgia. So I like it this way better. I like that we have access to LOB and MRD on the Walmart shelves for the last 20 years. I think that's super fun and it's uh, exciting because that's, when I got back into it, so I can go back to that Mystical Elf, one that was really hard for us to pull in the every uh, hollow pull opening. When I was getting back into it in 2018, I was just looking for these packs, 2017 reprints, I guess, at the time. And I was sca I was scavenging every Walmart, like, I'll pay eight bucks for these. No, like, no, of course I will. That's awesome. Like, reliving the memories. So all the people that are getting back in 2023 and they want to get like these old school packs, I think this is a really cool because like, even if they hadn't done this in 2017 was the newest reprint, like you couldn't find those anymore. Like they at all Walmart, they just weren't there anymore. Like occasionally you'd find a Walmart with them, but they had basically been uh, taken out of Walmarts at this point. So it is really cool that they've done this again and it allows like new people to keep coming into the game and keep, you know, it, whether they're playing or just collecting like me, you know, uh, Mushroom Man number two for the first time. Love to see that. Yeah, it gives them a easy, easy access to something that they really love and it's super cheap and you don't have to go back and spend your life savings to buy like one first ed LOB pack or something. Like it's insane. So it's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's fun. And I am, I don't have a problem with doing reprints, even if they do change them up to like new style cards and stuff. I don't have a problem with that. I think it's still fun. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you guys agree with that, but maybe some of you guys disagree. You guys can let me know. Great Moth, ooh, the Grant Day Moth. And a Catapult Turtle, still no Ultras. Very interesting, five Supers in a row. Let's keep it up before we get to those first dead LOB and Metal Raiders packs. What can we pull? No Pequeno Moth so far, I'm just saying. Seal Gregato, Petite Dragon. We got a Petite, but not the Dragon. We have Petite Angel. Lots of Petites that are not the right one. Dark Gray, okay. Petite Angel and Petite Dragon. Come on. Come on. Give us that Petite Moth. That's what we want. They really like the word Petite early. That's kind of weird. Feral Imp. Giga Tag. We have Labyrinth. I wonder if it's like a translation. We have Magical Hat and the Sword of Deep Seated. That's okay. We're going to pull an LV Blue Eyes in this video today, by the way. Violet Crystal, Skull Red Bird, Remove Trap, Ray and Tempatula, Silver Bow and Arrow, Petite Angel, Reaper of the Cards, 13th Grave. Will today be the day that we pull the Legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon, or we could pull a Gate Guardian. I've pulled only one of those. I never pulled it. It's not actually on YouTube. I only pulled it on Whatnot. We pulled it on Whatnot. It is not on YouTube in any form. I didn't post the video or anything because I didn't record it. I only have like the VOD, which is vertical. So I didn't like, you know, that would be horrible to watch on YouTube. Uh, you know, the giant black bars on the right. I didn't, I should have recorded that video. Unfortunately, I didn't. I remember I was just like really busy and didn't have time to set it up. So it could be my first Gate Guardian Secret Rare pull on YouTube. Could happen. Be pretty epic. I've done it one time. Actually, no, it couldn't. It's from a blister. What am I talking about? I can't even do that. All that talk. And oh, wait, wait, it's from a blister. I can only get Thousand Dragon. Have I pulled Thousand Dragon? I don't know if I've pulled Thousand Dragon either, actually. That, that one, I don't think I've ever pulled, actually. Maybe. Have I opened a retail box before? I might have opened a retail, like, box break one time. Maybe I did then. Oh, left leg of the Forbidden One. Okay, it's a leg. Left leg, probably not the one you're looking for. I mean, if I get that out of this pack, I would not be mad at all. If I got a left leg first ed, I would actually be really happy with that because I do not have that card in PSA 10. 
I only have the right arm and the Exodia head. That's all we have. We need three pieces. Oh, speaking of Gate Guardian, the legend has been pulled. Yes, we have pulled the reprint before, but still really cool. Gate Guardian Secret Rare. That's big for Metal Raiders. Better than Thousand Dragon for sure, so we got the better secret. There is a thing about these reprint boxes, though. You can get two secret rares. Sometimes you can get zero, very rarely. Sometimes, about once per case, I think, you get two secret rares. So if we get lucky, we could double up on secrets on one of these boxes, and that would really put them ahead. But obviously, oh, the red eyes, black dragon back-to-back -back ultras for legend of blue eyes while wow, we're heating up right now secret rare we got a couple ultras at lob red eyes black dragon we are looking nice right now this is good okay also you can potentially get three ultras or one ultra that's possible as well oh the double secret just like i mentioned both secrets in one box I think this is about one every case based on my openings. We would usually get 13 secrets in a case. So it was like there's 12 boxes, 13 secrets. Wow, I called it. That's that's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, what an opening. This is insane. Okay, maybe that's a good sign for the uh, the first dead. That's awesome, Larvis. Wow, that was a really good four packs in a row, I think. Weren't those all in a row starting with the Exodia? There's our, we broke the streak, by the way. But we're kind of running out of cards to pull. Actually, I don't think we've pulled an Ultra out of MRD yet. So that's kind of crazy. Maybe that's going to happen right here. Electric Lizard, Armored Zombie. Whoa, look at all that armor. We have Tongyo. We have Share of the Pain, Ground Attacker, Bugroth, Bladefly, and a Battle Steer. Different battle, different steer. Let's go. We can do this, guys. We can do this. We're still recording. Good. We don't want to lose that awesome footage of those pulls. Tyone, Pot of Green. Reflection number two. Still no secret out of LOB. So uh, we're hoping for that. Maybe even a double secret. Who knows? I have not seen a triple secret yet, so I guess we have hope for that because we've already pulled two out of Metal Rays. Larva, the Cousin Moth, very nice. Mystic Lamp, Empress Judge, Big Eye, Sangan, Dream Clown. Okay, we well, yeah, have Lesser Dragon, Power of Kaishin, Kagamusha, Electro Whip, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Laser Cannon, Mystical Moon, Dark Fire, and a Trap Hole, Super Rare. Oh, it's all coming down. It's the last few packs and then those first edition packs. What are we going to start with? Probably Metal Raiders just because like the blue eyes could be in the last pack because obviously that would be insane. We have never pulled that. What am I? What else have I not pulled on the Metal Raiders? I'm wondering if there's because I think I pulled Thousand Dragon. Maybe that might be one. Um, we pulled Summon Skull. We pulled Beast Skull. We have pulled Solemn Judgment, I think. I think that was in a box break or something. Raigeki, my favorite super rare. I'll take that. I would love to pull. I'd take a Raigeki out of there too. Raigeki would be sick. I really like Raigeki. One of the most nostalgic cards for me, as I've said many times on the channel, just because I own, and I still own those two cards, which is pretty cool. Ancient Brain, Feel the Pain. I'm, I'm happy that I own those because I don't own a lot of my old cards. So owning those Raigekis that I was so proud of back then is really cool. Uh, Mr. Corseman. And I was cheating, just lasering people with, with Raigekis. I had two of them in my deck in like 2006. Definitely not legal. We have Tripwire, Yurabi. Come on. Frenzy Panda. Raids Body Heat, Fire Yaru Fissure, and a Mountain. Let's go. We have a Flame Manipulator, Basic Insect, Petite Dragon, Dissolve Rock, King Fog, M Warrior Number 1, Numiruko. Fusionist and a Beaver Warrior. We can do this. We can make it happen. Dragon Piper, Cybersaurus, Thunder Dragon. Very nice. Musician King, Kaminari Attack, Steel Scorpion, Water Emotics, Witch of the Black Forest, and a Bistro Butcher. We are getting down to the end. It is almost time for the legendary. We still haven't pulled any ultras out of Metal Raiders? What is happening? Kumutoko, we have a Armored Starfish. I guess hopefully they're going to be at the end. We might not get an ultra because we got two secrets. That's possible. Or a, a second ultra, I should say. Flame Manipulator. Who knows? I mean, you never really know what the ratios, what will happen. That was weird. That crimp or that uh, flap was backwards. We have the Queen's Double. Seven colored fish, including the lips. Soggy the Dark Clown. Mushroom Man, number two. Very nice. Oh, and finally we pull it. The Pequeno Moth has been pulled. Water Emotics, beautiful. Sangan. Oh, and the Black Skull Dragon. Let's go. Black Skull Dragon and Pequeno in the same pack. Okay, three packs left of each. What an epic pack. We hadn't had an Ultra yet, and we hadn't had a Pequeno yet, and we got both in the same pack. Whoa, we just lost that. Kumitoko, Yurabi, Legendary Sword, Trial of Nightmare, No Longer Hell. We have Hard Armor, Turtle Tigray. We have Cherubin, and a Sandstone. Cool stuff. Three packs left on Metal Raider's side. Two packs on the Blue Eyes side. Guardian of the Labyrinth, Flame Cerberus, Prevent Rat, Ruxin Special, Miwatori. That is a cheat. I was about to say Chikorita. Oh, man. Too much Pokemon, guys. Go check out Pokerux, by the way, if you guys haven't seen it. Pokerux, I've been putting in work over there. And we're pulling a Summit Skull, Beast Skull, and two secrets in the same Metal Raiders box. No way. Look at this box. Can you beat that box? 
I don't think you can beat that box. That's insane. You'd have to have like an error or something, which almost you almost have an error with two secrets, but it's not really an error anymore. Back in the day, it would have been an error. Wow, that is it's gonna be hard to beat that box. Shout out to Pokerux for bringing us the luck. Very nice. Go subscribe over there if you want to see some Pokemon content. Been putting in work. Super excited for that. I've been literally putting in way more work over there, so it's been fun. Uh, not than here, but in general, like compared to what I was doing. Uh, first Ed Packs, almost here. Let's go. One, two, three. We have Baby Dragon. We have Queen's Double, Paralyzing Potion, Pale Beast, Rux, and 34. Very nice. We have a Yato Car, Lava Battle Guard, Petite Maw, beautiful. We have a Dark Elf and Armored Lizard. Two Pequeno Moss. That is awesome. All right. Legend Blue Eyes, last pack here. What will we get? I don't think we've gotten a secret yet. So we could have no secret, which is pretty rare in these boxes. Chinning Mermaid, Machine Conversion, Goblin Secret Remedy. Oh! And there it is the unworthy dragon with three sharp horns sprouting from its head someone on uh in the comments section the other day was like you're so unworthy to open all these packs so i replied call me trihorn ruxin come on guys come on it was a great it was good it was good uh, he didn't reply though so it's very sad all right last metal raiders pack before we get to these first eds here we go one two three you gotta believe guys we have the ancient brain feel the pain we have tana wisdom Lusionist, castle Unhappy Maiden, Doma, Princess of Sarugi, and Armored Lizard fini finishing it off, not fiending it off, but Lizarding it off to the final first Ed packs. <sighs> Here we go. We have Metal Raiders first Ed. Let's do this. First edition, I want to pull. We've had great, insane luck with Metal Raiders. Let's hope it continues right here. Here we go, guys. First edition, MRD. Can we get any foil would be amazing, basically. But Ultra and up would be, like, insane. So here we go. We're obviously looking for Pequeno Moth. There's some great comments in this set, such as Harpy Lady, that are gradable uh, for, like, high, high value. Oh, man, check that out. Oh, no. All those comments are dinged. Maybe even the foil. That's not good. Okay, Armored Zombie. No, not the Armored Zombie. Your armor. It didn't defend you. Maybe because of that. Not great. We have Flame Cerberus. Okay, don't be something great. Battle Steer in these four cards. Hayasube. Okay, okay. Those are the damaged ones. Guilty of the D Knight. I don't know about the others. We'll have to check them out. But Guilty of the D Knight. This is a really cool artwork. Nostalgic for me. I love it. Um, Niwatori. Yes. Oh, we got to get this guy graded. Okay, let me look at him real quick. Four. Let's look at the Electric Lizard. Not great. Okay, this thing looks... Pretty good, pretty good. That might be gradable. All right, Niwatori. We have Electric Lizard. We have the Thunder Dragon. That's a good one, but the Centering. Wow, that Centering is terrible. Wait, is Niwatori Centering bad too? No, his is, his is pretty decent. Okay, Thunder Dragon. That's atrocious Centering, but that's okay. Hollow card. Will it be a foil? Come on, guys. Send me some luck in the comments. Mooka, no. We don't want you, Mooka Mooka. I'm sorry, we don't want you. Uh... Yeah, okay. It looks pretty clean, but oh, never mind. There's a ding at the bottom. Rip, Mooka Mooka. You are in not even in good shape. The hit of the pack. Niwatori, are you gradable? Let me look. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe it is gradable. They're, they're going to be like, why is someone grading this? Even though I, there are people with complete MRD PSA 10 sets. Shout out to you, uh, uh, Gezi and, and Peter. I know you guys are collecting those random cards, but hey, I'm going to be the next one to get Niwatori PSA 10. All right, final pack. Uh, if we get a foil here, LOB is going to win, even with how good Metal Raiders has been. It's a middleweight pack, so we don't really know. Hopefully that means secret rare. That'd be really cool. I have never pulled Gaia. I don't know. I think it's a Trihorn pack though, but I haven't pulled Trihorn, but it's crimped. I would like to pull a PSA 10, not a crimped one. That'd be cool. Never had a Trihorn PSA 10 before, so... That'd be pretty awesome. All right, let's open this thing up. That opened pretty well, actually. Keep that pack nice and crispy. Okay, one, two, three, four. Will that be a blue eyes in the back right there? We have a beast bang. Let's hopefully get some good centering on these commons. That's it. That looks pretty good. The flame manipulator used to make the flame swordsman. Very cool. The frenzied panda. The panda has been frenzied. Silver fang. All right, this is such a cool card. I would love to grade this a 10. It's pretty classic, to be honest. Mammoth Graveyard and the Living Arrow card, Yugi. We have Fire Grass, okay. A fire breathing plant found growing near volcanoes, okay. Dark World Thorns, don't really care about uh, the Fire Grass. Dark World Thorns is pretty cool. We have a Red Medicine, increase your life points by 600. Pretty terrible card, but hey, it's medicine, all right. Final card, it could be the legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon, a card we've been searching for for many, many years. I've never pulled it. I, I own a PSA 9, but I didn't pull it. Here we go, Let's see if we can get a 10 here. 
the giant soldier of stone and he's a little off center too this would be a really cool psa 10 but the centering is not looking too good on this guy all right oh two duds on the final two packs but it was still fun to open these old school first edition packs if you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this because that was expensive shout out to toe info show daxer jt show puffins of doom ernesto deanna america doidster supreme sage 21 cj leo Gwine 62 another tie show ian musa junior barney mimic gecko and robert f thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video peace